Fastly for Canaweld based out of Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be doing part two of a video we started using the TIG ACDC 301. We're going to be talking about some common TIG welding problems and we're going to do some troubleshooting. We're going to be talking about having an unstable arc or an arc that won't strike. We're going to talk about porosity and we're going to talk about why your tungsten may be burning away from you. So we're going to get up close and personal, discuss some of these problems and look at some of the solutions. So you may notice that your tungsten is burning away prematurely. Um, that usually means that you don't have enough backing gas. So let's hit the trigger on our torch and let's see what kind of backing gas we have going on. Ah, so we typically want this needle to be between 15 and 20 CFH. So we can see right here that really we're not that close at all. We only have maybe about 12 or 13. So let's go ahead and adjust this in between 15 and 20. And this is going to give us the right amount of gas flow so that our tungsten stays cool and that our weld comes out nice and clean and we're not burning it away. Another reason your tungstens may be burning away too quickly is that you're using too small a tungsten for the amperage you're currently using. In this hand I have a 1 16th tungsten which is actually no good for doing anything over 220 amps. If you're going to be welding over 220 amps, you need to step up to the 332nd style tungsten, which is a bit fatter and it's not going to burn away on you when you're using those higher amperages. Another reason your tungsten may be burning away too quickly is because it's oxidizing. Your tungsten will oxidize because you're not using enough post-flow gas after your weld. So with the TIG ACDC 301, you can see that we've selected the post-flow here, and right now you can see that it's at half a second. We're going to go ahead and turn that up to five full seconds and that's going to keep your tungsten nice and cool after that weld and it's going to help it last a lot longer and keep it from oxidizing. So another common problem that you might find when you're doing TIG welding is getting porosity in your weld. Porosity is when you have holes and pits and basically you have an incomplete fill of the filler material into the joint. Uh, it can be caused by a few different things but uh, it's been my experience that the most common reason is that the pieces that you're going to be working on haven't been cleaned yet. Um, you're going to find that there's cutting oil on them, bits of grease, paint, dirt, and grime. So here we have four pieces of aluminum and as you can see we have two very dirty oily pieces uh, because they've come straight from the cutting machine and then we have two clean pieces here. So you want to be welding on parts that look like this and definitely not like this. If you get your pieces and they look this way you need to get yourself some acetone or some alcohol or something like that, something that will evaporate quickly, and you need to wipe down these pieces to prepare them to be welded first. The cause of porosity in your welds could be not dirty parent material, but dirty filler metal. Um, a lot of times these rods get left around on your tool bench and stuff gets spilled on them. There's paint, there's grease, there's pop, there's all sorts of stuff that can end up on your tool bench and contaminate your filler metal. So if you're trying to do a high quality TIG weld, you're going to need to take these and take a little bit of acetone or a little bit of alcohol and wipe them down and make sure that there's no dust or grime on them before you begin your weld. And if you do that, you'll know that you're not putting dirt back into your weld and causing porosity that way. Porosity uh, also may be caused by having um, a faulty connection for your gas. So if you're getting porosity and everything is clean, you're going to need to go back over and make sure that your gas connector is plugged in all the way and that you have a good flow and that you're getting a good flow out of the end of the torch. After you've made sure that the front of the machine is all set to go and that everything's plugged in good for your gas flow, come back here and double check this connection here. Make sure that it's in nice and tight so that you're not leaking any gas. And again, make sure that your needle is sitting between 15 and 20 so that you have the proper gas flow and you know that nothing's leaking out and everything is coming out the end of your torch the way it should. Lastly, we're going to talk about another common problem that you might face when TIG welding, and that's having either your arc won't strike or when the arc strikes, it's quite unstable. Uh, one of the most common causes for this is that your tungsten has become contaminated. Tungstens can get contaminated because you don't have enough backing gas or because maybe you touched it into the puddle and you got some of the filler metal on it. Uh, a few different reasons. So what they're going to look like when they're contaminated is something like this. And you can see this one is in very bad shape. So when you have your tungsten and it's looking like this, and it's not looking like a nice clean new one, you're going to take it, and usually I try to knock about half an inch off. Clamp it good, take your other pair of pliers, and break that off. Now you're going to take this over to your pedestal grinder, and you're going to grind a new tip onto it. And when you grind the new tip onto it, you want to make sure that all the grind marks are going lengthwise to help the gas flow down to the tip. So when you're finished, 
you can grind yourself a nice new point on here. You can see the grind marks are going lengthwise down the shaft like we talked about before and you're ready to go and try again. Okay, so that about wraps up our troubleshooting with the TIG ACDC 301 today. Uh, I had a lot of fun going over this with you guys, and if you have any questions or you think of something that I may have missed, please hit us up in the comment section and we'll try to get back on it and uh, address it in the next video. So everybody stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun. Thank you.